Hi, I'm Daniel from Intinor, uh, and with me today I have Roland Axelsson. Hello, I'm Roland, I'm the product manager of Intinor. And today we are showcasing a hybrid event. Uh, a hybrid event is uh, a combination between an in-person event and with a virtual online component. Uh, today me and Roland are in this studio and with us we have three uh, remote participants. One is on Zoom and the other ones are on Intinor Direct Link encoders. Um, so Roland, what is the advantages of having uh, people on Direct Links instead of Zoom? There are many advantages. Uh, one is that you can uh, very easily co connect uh, a professional camera, which you can control from remote. So from here, we can control the cameras on the other side. Uh, you can also get a better video and audio quality. Uh, the audio is not blocked in the same way as it is when you are talking uh, over Zoom or Teams. Um, you can actually talk a little bit both ways. Um, and uh, also you can you can use cellular bonding to have a more robust connection. So if people are sitting at home and their internet is not super perfect, you can add connectivity to make it more robust. And it's also uh, if you're doing a multi-camera production or you have a presentation, it's uh, easy for the producer on the remote site to select what should be in the video. Um, and it's also easier to support the person who is on the other side uh, broadcasting from home or something. So there are many advantages of doing this. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, but uh, how about the uh, latency? Uh, we have developed uh, a new ultra low latency feature. So we are down to about 0 0.5 seconds with network bonding. And uh, that is about the same latency as you get on the video conference tools. So it's easy to, to have a two-way communication in, in this way that we are going to show. Yeah. And I guess we will showcase this now when we go to Tom Harrington. Tom works at ses 4 tv uh, in the UK. And uh, Tom, glad to have you with us. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Roland. Nice to be here. Um, I'm the technical project manager at zest for tv and we've been using Intonor for about a year now, um, and we absolutely love everything that comes with it. And uh, we love to hear that. Uh, so thanks, Tom. And on the other side of the pond, we have Nick Smith from JBNA. And it's about 5 a.m. Uh, right now in California. So I hope you got your first morning coffee. Hi. I'm ready for number two. Um, <laughs> hey, so my name is Nicholas. I'm the vice president of technology for JBNA, an Exertus company. And we're uh, really focused on broadcast technologies that we can bring to our dealer channel in North America. And one of the reasons we love Intonor is the low latency video and the fact that it has so many tool sets that our dealers can dive in on and, and just basically solve problems for their clients. Awesome. Thanks, Nick. Um, we really appreciate you getting up at this hour. Uh, last but not least, we have our European sales manager uh, from Germany, Martin. Welcome. Hi. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, I work out of the Munich office and I'm um, using Interno for more than eight years, I think, and um, almost six years with the company. So, yeah, I love using Interno and uh, hope uh, to see you soon. Perfect, thanks. Uh, so I have a question for Tom. Uh, you've been working with equipment from Intinor uh, for about a year now. Um, what made you decide on using Intinor and uh, what type of productions are you mainly doing right now? One of the main reasons for getting the Intinor Direct Router is just all the other options that can come with, with the unit. So we were able to buy it at a base price with our standard sort of SDI IO. And then within a couple of months, we were adding on the two wire talkback, uh, sorry, the, the two four wire talkbacks and uh, the VPN tunneling and the SRT codec, just because every job is different and they're never all, all quite the same. So being able to bolt on the additions was uh, a massive benefit for us because we weren't able to afford it all at the start. And job by job, we were able to sort of pay off all these additional extras. Um, in terms of jobs that we've been doing, we, um, we've moved a lot into hybrid as well, where we will just send the cameras and the microphones and the monitors to site. And then we will send everything over the Intor direct router 
um, to get the feeds back to base. So um, I'm in one of our MCRs here. So we would bring cameras back over Internor, vision mix them here, and then stream them, stream them back out to the world. So being able to rack cameras and send tally over the uh, Internor VPN was a huge benefit to us. Thanks. Uh, really glad to hear, and, and it looks good. Uh, so, uh, Nick, uh, you're a distributor, uh, clients all across the US. Uh, how do you think COVID has changed these hybrid events? And uh, what do you think will stay when COVID restrictions are, are over? So for the most part, these are clients that um, probably wouldn't have done a hybrid event previously, and now they're sort of forced to. And in doing so, they've opened their eyes up to just the possibilities of being hybrid, having people on, having people out in the ether. And so they've, it's allowed us to just offer this solution to more and more clients who just wouldn't touch it before. And now they're, they're really enjoying it. What I think is going to change is that the clients that used to do one or the other, Right, would only be hybrid or would only be um, you know, in person, are now gonna realize they can continue a hybrid model of, you know, of, of offering both to their, you know, to their users or to their audience base long-term. And more importantly, the ones that were selling tickets to live events are now realizing they can have a dual audience, that customers are willing to watch a show online just as much as they're willing to be in person for that. And so it's opened up a whole new revenue stream for those clients that used to only do one or the other. Yeah, I agree. It, it will be interesting to see how everything kind of pans out in the future. Uh, so Martin, uh, what would you say is the most common problem clients are trying to solve when they contact us? Is it uh, latency, quality, monitoring? Um, tell us more about that. Okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah, in, in most cases, quality comes in first um, and second is latency. Uh, but especially when streaming from home, the question comes up, how to do a return video when there is a firewall at home? And the answer is, when you push a stream, you have to open ports on the firewall, otherwise it wouldn't work. But then you're in trouble with that home firewall. So the trick is, with internet technology, we can do the opposite. We can pull the stream, and by pulling the stream, we don't have to touch the firewall at home. So that is a mission critical, very important feature to have. The other thing you mentioned is monitoring. And uh, yeah, there's two aspects. One is return video, which we just covered. And the other one is mix minus. You want to talk to everybody, you want to hear everybody, but you don't want to have an echo of yourself. And that introduces into Nora's four wire talkback technology. So overall, I would say it's the big picture consulting our customers are looking for. So that might even cover, you know, doing some testing with existing equipment, find out how it works, do the VPN to remote control a PTZ, have a tally and all these things. So yeah, that is good fun. So I love consulting. So feel free to contact me. This is Martin from the German office back to Sweden. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Martin. And, and I agree. I think uh, the... Uh, uh, when we call the, the direct router the Swedish Army Knife, we, uh, we really have something and, and there's a lot of features to, to talk about. Um, and I think that was about it for this segment of the video. Uh, next up, we will do a technical walkthrough uh, where we will uh, dig deeper into each of these setups. Um, so thank you for watching and uh, see you soon. So, uh, welcome back. And in uh, this segment, we will be uh, talking about the technical aspect of this setup. Um, so, Roland, uh, could you please go back to the uh, control room and show us how it works? Yes, I would love to do that. So, let's go to the control room. And uh, here we have Thomas, who is taking care of the audio and the mix minus returns. And we have Arvid, who is working with the TriCaster and mixing all the videos. Um, behind the wall here, we have a small server room. So there we have the direct router, which is both sending and receiving the streams. And uh, between the router and uh, the participants, on direct link, we have VPN connected so that 
it's very easy from here, from the control room to control the camera, as you can see uh, Arvid is doing now. He's using a Scarhoy PTZ Fly controller, and that works very well over the VPN, uh, remote controlling uh, Tom in uh, outside London. Um, so Tom's equipment on that side, he has a direct router with the uh, SDI in, sending a stream to here. And he's also pulling the return video with uh, mix minus audio. So he's not hearing himself when he talks. And the mix minus return is up on HDMI out, which he's using for that. Um, Nick in the US has a very similar setup. Um, and he is using also his laptop connected to the direct router so he can show his presentation. And he's actually sending two streams to Sweden and uh, Arvid can mix between the presentation and the camera. And he can also do a, a picture in picture when he would like to. So Nick doesn't have to care about when his camera is on or when his presentation is on. That's taken care of from the production side. Uh, Martin in Germany has, his, has a Zoom on his laptop. So we are getting the Zoom into the TriCaster here and uh, also sending a return audio uh, with a mix minus to Martin so he can speak without hearing himself. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the technical setup. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, so welcome back, Roland. Uh, and, uh, well, it's it's a lot of features uh, being built up, and would you say it is difficult to set up, or or is this uh, can this be done? It's it's quite easy to set up actually. You can send a kit home to someone with a direct link, a PTZ camera, and a microphone. And uh, if you also use a 4G modem built into that unit, and then the participant on the other side can just plug it in, and if he needs support with his internet connection or something that can also be done from remote. So just plug it in and then control it from the from the control room. Thanks. That sounds uh, easy enough. Uh, so I think that was uh, pretty much it. Um, we would like to thank our participants and I hope you guys learned something today. Uh, let us know if you have any questions and I hope you let us know. Um, and uh, visit our website for more information. Uh, so, until next time, thanks. Bye-bye.